Spotify, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, we have Lady Ada show you how to find things on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, take it away. Okay. Um, I'm designing a bunch of Trinky boards. Uh, let me show those. Trinky. Trinky. Trinky boards. These Trinky boards have a USB-A PCB connector that plugs into a port. And um, they are just very low cost and designed to give you a little bit of capability uh, using, you know, a SAMD21 or uh, an RP2040 chip. Here's like a, you know, kind of a more advanced Trinky. Um, though we had a couple people ask, hey, can you make a version with a USB-C connector? Now, you can't, because USB-C is double-sided and it's also very fine pitch, you can't really make a PCB that slots. I mean, like... You technically could, but it would not last very long. I think the traces would come off pretty quickly. So you can't do this hack where you just have a really thick PCB and these pads. Instead, you have to have a connector. Um, so what I want, though, is not a USB-A connector. We have a lot of boards that have USB-A. What I want, sorry, sorry uh, USB-C socket. What I want is a USB-C plug. So go to the overhead. Again, I'll show this real fast. Um, so this is... A USB-C plug, right? It matches one of these cables. It's a plug that can solder onto the PCB. But the thing about this is that it's like this straddle mount. I was just talking about this, where all the pins are soldered onto each side. And so this looks like a very time-consuming process because I think you have to apply solder paste to both sides and you have to slot it exactly. It has to fit perfectly in and align. And there's like, you know, like no, you know, they're, they're very fine pitch parts. And there's no through hole component that goes through the PCB. And so this is like, in my opinion, a little wiggly. You can see this is wiggling. I don't know, it's like a little loose tooth. I think it would be okay, but it'll, I think it'll eventually break off. And so what I want is to find a component on DigiKey that'll let me turn my Trinky, which I just had in my hand, here you go. Trinky, and it's, instead of having USB-C socket, like these are, you know, a dime a dozen. We've covered these on the Great Search. I want the opposite with a little bit of through hole connectivity if possible surface mount but also through hole um the way the uh sockets are so that we can pick and place them um but the components are the you know the components need hand placement like this straddle mount okay so let's go to the computer now we know what we want so let's go to digikey and let's type in usb connector because it's what we want so um, we definitely want USB connector assembly. And they have, you know, 4,000, all sorts of things. A lot of micro B, type A, HDMI, whatever. Also like this part that goes onto a cable. So let's, um, let's first, oh, sorry, stuff on the desk. Let's only look for active. And we want it to be a uh, plug. But I'm also going to grab this dash in case there's something that didn't get categorized properly. And I want it to be, see, oh, not everything is a selectable. So now USB type C. There you go. So let's apply. All right, so I'm only at 62. And then I think I'm also going to search for normally stocking because I want to get something that you can actually buy. So there are like a couple of mounting types, but I think the thing is, is that for something like this, I really want to see the photo and I look, look at the data sheet because it's like surface mount might include that straddle mount, although they do say, you know, straddle mount here, but maybe do I want board edge surface mount? I don't know. So let's, um, let's look and then let's, uh, let's just sort by price to start because who knows. So this one is kind of cool. It looks like a power connector, but it plugs on the top. So this is for like something that would it'd be kind of cool. Be a right angle PCB. Uh, ditto. This one is a right angle connector. Um, this one looks like a straddle mount. So let's take a look at this. Uh, let's see if they have the data sheet. They might not. But it pretty. It's pretty clearly a straddle mount. You can see the little uh, legs, the teens here that they grabs onto the PCB and then. Yeah, this is bulk. So this is the fact that the packaging is bulk means that it has to be placed by hand. It doesn't come on a, a pick and place tape and reel. Um, this is also straddle mount. This one is very clearly straddle mount because you can actually even see the two layers of pins. I don't want that. Um, this one is like a weird photo, but uh, let's look at what it looks like in person. Also, uh, 
straddle mount. It's really common. I don't know. I guess if I was like mass manufacturing, maybe I'd go with that. This one, let's look at the 360. Hold on, it's loading. Okay, yeah, this is also a straddle mount. You can see the two rows of pins. Boo! Um, straddle mount. This is also a straddle mount. This one is not, actually. This is like the first one that is 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 not a straddle mount. Um, but it's actually going to be, yeah, they don't have the proper full data sheet. Let's see if maybe I can get another data sheet. No. Let's see if we can look at the EVA module. Mod, model. Yeah. So this one is actually um, possible because it has... All the surface mount pins, but they go on the top. And then it has two through hole slots. So um, this one would actually be okay. This one is a little bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here you go. So you can actually see here's the slot. And then there's the two surface mount rows. Only thing is, um, I don't need two rows. And I'm going to, I'm also going to keep looking. This one ditto, this one is actually kind of similar to the other one. There's two rows of surface mount and then there's a slot. This one actually would be pretty good. This one's vertical, so that's not gonna work. This is a socket, don't know why this is in here. Another straddle mount, another straddle mount, another straddle mount. These are really good photos of the straddle mount though. Uh, vertical, another vertical, straddle mount and vertical. Uh, this is, Oh no, there's like a billion. Well, I know that this is, okay. This one's interesting because it's half surface mount, half through hole. It actually probably would be okay to use. Um, this is the footprint. So you see it's actually the full, all the pins, the USB three pins, one row surface mount, and then the rest are through holes. So this is gonna be very mechanically solid. So if I try other stuff and it doesn't work, this for sure, is not going anywhere. I mean, like all those through hole connectors plus the slots is going to be uh, super great. Um, this is another two slot version, vertical. And then let's look at this. Eventually, I'm going to bump into the one I, I did pick in the end. Okay. So this is the one. This is the first one that I was like, actually, this is what I want. Because you can kind of see on the footprint, there's only one row because I don't need USB 3. I don't need all the pins. I just want the data, power, uh, and ground. Um, and then uh, like a CC pin. And then it's got two slots. It's got a little bit of a uh, ground pad to get, get a little bit more mechanical connection. But the two slots, I think, make it like a good winner. You can see the slots that go through the PCB. And the PCB actually butts up here. You see, this is the edge of the PCB. So it jams up against the PCB and then it has this through hole. So like together, um, that keeps it from, if you if you make the PCB cut exactly at the right length, it means it doesn't wedge too much um, and it doesn't uh, torque too much. So this is the one I'm actually gonna end up using. Um, and I'll just quickly show the, USB type C plug breakout that I designed uh, with this component. So I'm gonna find out if this is gonna be a good footprint. That's the thing I have to figure out next, but this is the uh, USB C like plug. I think this is the correct length. These are all those pads and then these are uh, the socket and then the milling layer. Let's see if I can put that front cause it's, Oh, interesting. Let me hide the pads. There you go. You can see this is the milling layer. That's where the slot is going to be cut out, the plated slot. And then there's a little bit of like this ground pad here just for uh, for good luck. So we get a little more mechanical connection. And then these pads. And then ideally, you know, this PCB edge, again, butts up against the connector and gives me that um, extra mechanical strength. So Hopefully this will work. I really want something nice and strong so that people, you know, don't yank, pull, twist. Um, I'll report back if this works. Hopefully my P 
PCBs will show up soon. I'll start this connector on and I'll let you know. This is my pick for the great search. That's a great search. Where